Hello everyone, welcome to TechCraft Studio and today we are going to be reviewing the Gigabyte Aorus TRX40 Aorus Extreme. I'm going to be going over the features and what makes this board so special. So the first thing that you need to know when you unbox this motherboard is there's a lip right here. So we cannot lift this straight out. We're going to need to lift this from one side. And then just slide it out like this. Will this move? We'll move this aside for now. Before I proceed, I want to mention that this is not a sponsored video. Gigabyte is not paying me to review this product. This product was purchased with my own money. The first thing I want to go over is this VRM setup that this motherboard has. This motherboard has a 16 phase on top and a 3 phase on the side. The 16 is for the CPU and the 3 is for the SOC and the memory. The benefit of having this setup is this does not need to run too hot even though this processor can draw up to 280 watts and more if you overclock. And what makes this motherboard special and I think this is also the same case for the Aorus Master is this VRM setup does not use any doublers. The next thing I want to go over is the PCIe slot arrangement on this motherboard. Each slot is arranged and spaced out identically, so you can run a quad GPU setup. This motherboard is actually an XL ATX size, so this motherboard is about an inch longer than a typical ATX motherboard. So when you are purchasing this motherboard, you need to also ensure that the motherboard can fit inside the case. Another thing that I have noticed and what I really like about this motherboard is a lot of the important slots like the PCIe slots and the memory slots and also even the power slots are metal reinforced. What I really like about this motherboard is its dual BIOS feature. So you can have two different versions of a BIOS installed on this motherboard and if one fails you can switch to a working BIOS one of the most awesome features on this motherboard is this motherboard can accommodate four M.2 SATA drives. One thing to note is on the two slots here are connected to the CPU, while these are connected through the chipset. So if you have a drive connected here or here, the SATA ports will be disabled because they share the bandwidth on the chipset. Next up is the main reason why I went with this motherboard and it is the IO arrangement. All of the arrangements that you need to connect to your case and the power supply are located on the side of the motherboard. Let's move it over here. So on the side, you have two USB 3.0 I.O. inputs. You have 10 SATA ports. And you have five fan ports on the side. And you also have two fan ports right here for a total of seven fan ports on this motherboard. So this motherboard does have a fan for the chipset. This motherboard is running PCIe 4.0, so it does get a little bit hot. A lot of people are not a fan of this, pun intended. However, as long as the fan does not fail or have a loud operating noise, I'm okay with that. 
This motherboard does provide heat sinks for all of the NVMe drives and it is all cooled by the chipset fan right here. One thing to note while you're installing this motherboard is this shield needs to be removed because there are two holes that needs to be accessed in order to properly install your motherboard. Okay, with the main motherboard out of the way, let's see what's inside the box. We have stickers, which I'll review later. Pretty nice badge. So we have two Wi-Fi antennas. a USB splitter, two RGB cables, two thermal probes, which the motherboard does have two, perfect, and two cable straps. Let's see what's in this component right here. Compartment, excuse me. So we have an insulation guide. user manual for the NVMe drive, the card, excuse me, four M.2 screws, there should be a fourth stand up here for perfect we have a speaker what makes this unique is that this speaker is used to measure how loud your fans are and you can tune how fast or how slow your fans can be based on the sound Two braided SATA cables, pretty cool. I've never seen braided SATA cables until today. And we have two addressable RGB cables. Actually, there are three, four, Looks like I can't count. There's actually six SATA cables in total and they're all braided. Pretty cool. And we have a front panel connector. So you would use this to connect it to your case cables and then you would connect it right here. So this makes it a quick connect and disconnect on your motherboard, which is awesome for cable management. You can just plug this in on the side of your motherboard and just tuck this away. And a USB driver drive, which is pretty cool. We don't need to use CDs anymore, which benefits me because my computer doesn't even have a CD drive. Okay, we have the user manual. 
and one of the best perks of buying this motherboard is the NVMe PCIe slot card. This card uses times 16 PCIe 4.0. So if you populate this card with four NVMe drives, this can offer incredible performance. And what's really cool is that this is actually a heatsink and there's a fan to keep your NVMe drives cool. And this also has a metal backplate. Pretty awesome. Feels pretty heavy. This video won't be complete without a fun little montage, but before that, so if you guys like what you see today, please support me by hitting the like button and subscribing. Please also don't forget to hit the bell notification button. This will help me tremendously so I can keep on doing what I am doing today and bring you more and better content in the future. And with all of that said, I'll see you next week.